Right now, promising new research that could help us live longer, healthier lives. Dr. Mark Siegel is a professor of medicine at NYU Langone Medical Center. He joins us live from our New York City newsroom. Doctor, I'm intrigued. What is it? Heather, with an aging population of baby boomers come spiraling health care costs and a search for a magic pill to help turn back the clock. One group is making exciting progress in this search, led by Dr. Deep Dixit's laboratory at the Yale School of Medicine. When we don't have new T cells, we are more prone to infections and certain diseases. So the uh, so ability of the thymus to make more T cells is thought to be very critical for boosting immune system in elderly and preventing against certain diseases. The thymus gland is located in the center of the chest, right in front of the heart. As we age, it deteriorates, restoring it using a special previously overlooked protein found in our bodies known as FGF21 could unleash the disease-fighting power of our youth. Scientists are studying the effects of this rejuvenating treatment which boosts the immune system and revs up the metabolism. Mice injected with the protein increase their lifespan by 40 percent. Researchers believe it will help people live healthier for longer. Dixit adds this is not necessarily the fountain of youth, but it's certainly an important step in that direction. Extension of lifespan with FGF21 in people, I'm not sure how realistic that is. But extension of health span, you know, the, uh, the period of our life which is um, free of disability, that is the goal. Research is costly and funding is difficult to get. Only about um, seven to eight percentile of these grants actually get funded and this study would probably cost millions of dollars to see whether FGF21 how effective it is in people. With the proper funding Heather researchers at Yale hope this powerful protein which could help treat cancer fight off infections that it will be available in the doctor's office in just five to ten years very exciting Heather. Dr. Siegel thank you so much it's terrific love that.